Back in 1901 when George Hendy brought in Oscar Hedstrom to help power his bicycle designs, he couldn't have known that he was launching a legacy that would, off and on, be in operation through the entirety of the 20th century and into the future. Yet, here we are in 2018 with a revamped Indian motorcycle company that is thriving under the Polaris umbrella and taking a serious bite out of the domestic motorcycle market, a slice of the pie that for many years was under the de facto monopoly of Harley Davidson. They say that competition is good for the market, and I believe that the recent success of Indian products has forced Harley out of its complacency and driven innovations that may never have happened dot 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 or at least not yet. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm schizophrenic, and so am I. This was my first thought looking at the Turing features on the Springfield, and the way you can quickly, sans tools, convert the sled from an old school tour bike to a boulevard cruiser. The factory took steps to make sure the quick connect mounting hardware did not offend the eye with the hang on equipment removed and they even included a split seat design to allow you to quickly remove the pillion pad for that solo appeal. This is definitely a bike with a Gemini personality. The overall panache is that of the quintessential American cruiser, circa 1950s and 60s, and it carries the unmistakable Indian DNA markers so familiar to longtime fans of the brand, 